Hello, and welcome to another edition of View from the Bleachers, the only YouTube channel that will guarantee that your kids will make it into Princeton University or double your money back. My name is Tim Jones, and today's topic, my short-lived career as a bingo announcer. You know, throughout my life, I've held a variety of jobs, from sales director to director of sales and everything in between. You know, given the chance, I could have been a superstar selling advertising, life insurance, or legal research to anyone from astronauts to aborigines had my employers not fired me for my poor performance and general incompetence. So you can imagine my excitement when I recently heard about an opening that sounded right up my alley, working the bingo booth at our local county fair. More on my exciting career opportunity on the other side. <laughs> Welcome back to View from the Bleachers. I'm still Tim Jones. Well, you know, when word got to me from a local nonprofit that they needed help with the fair's bingo operations, I knew that I was the perfect candidate. When the bingo boss man called, I was totally prepared. This is the boss. Man, he was a tough interviewer. But I had updated my resume to reflect relevant skills that made me uniquely qualified for this challenge. Most notably, that I was adept, even under pressure, at differentiating most numbers from letters. I was surprised at how few questions the recruiter posed during the interview. His opening pitch was, are you willing to work the bingo booth at the fair this weekend? You know, from the get-go, I picked up on serious buying signals. Not to appear immodest, but I'm a tenacious negotiator. I asked him what the base salary was, I inquired about stock options, how the health insurance plan worked, and whether the job came with a matching 401k. Well, in the end, we reached what I feel was a, a fair compromise. No, no salary or stock options or 401k or health coverage, but I wrangled free entrance to the entire fairgrounds, including behind the scenes access to the rabbits exhibit and the tractor pull competition. Not bad. I reported to my new post 10 minutes before my shift began because I read somewhere that arriving early makes a good impression with a new employer. Well, I put on the yellow official cashier's apron. My first assignment was to hand out bingo cards and take people's money. One card for $1, three cards for $2, and as my confidence grew, so did my innovative purchase options. For only one grand, you can get 15 bingo cards, pay $10,000, and I'll name my next child after you. <laughs> in, in full disclosure, I, I don't plan to have any more children. I was about to close a deal on 15 bingo cards when the guy in charge pulled me aside and told me to stick with the three cards for $2 offer. Well, I clearly was doing a superior job handing out bingo cards because after only 20 minutes on my very first day, I was promoted to the position of announcer. That's right. I quickly rocketed to the big time or the show as we call it in the bingo biz. And here's an actual photo of me calling the numbers at the fair. One thing you probably should know about me, it's dangerous to hand me a microphone with, without clear instructions about what I can and cannot say. The microphone fit me like a glove and I quickly began working the crowd. I was the star of bingo improv, cracking one joke after another. If you are anxiously awaiting N45, I'm pleased to announce that the number is G57. Are you hoping to win that two-week vacation to France? Then. I'm afraid you've come to the wrong booth. You might want to try the sheep and goats pavilion. I sure am getting hungry smelling those corn dogs and funnel cakes. If you buy me a tasty treat, I just might find a way to let you win. For reasons still unclear to me, the boss man frowned on my jokes about helping people cheat. Well, looks like somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed that morning. Then I started calling out the numbers as Roman numerals. The next number is... Oh, L-X-X-I-I. I announced to them in sign language as well. And next, I even launched into foreign accents. British, French, German, New Jersey. Until the booth boss pulled me aside again, apparently annoyed, and told me to just announce the numbers like a normal person. Well, okay. Everything was going along fine, I thought, until I ad-libbed a little too creatively loudly proclaiming that the next game would be for the year's International Bingo World Championship. 
and that one lucky winner might drive away in a shiny new Corvette Stingray. Well, apparently that was the last straw. My employer intervened and, like a baseball manager approaching the mound to take the ball from his starting pitcher, he asked me to hand him the microphone. I had been pulled. But I'll bounce back. Eventually. In the meantime, I just hope they have a decent severance package to tide me over until I land my next job as a carnival barker. Well, that's the view from the bleachers. I'm Tim Jones, and remember, if you like this video, please click on the like or subscribe button below and share this post with your friends or anyone you'd like to annoy. And for more of my humor, just visit my website, viewfromthebleachers.net. Thanks for joining me today, and bye for now. Uh -huh.